Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit points you've already created in Field Genius. To do this, I'm going to be using our Windows 10 tablet, the Mesa 2, and quite obviously, Microsurveys Field Genius 10. So in order to do this here, I'm going to have to first select a point. So I've just got four points that I've created and laid out essentially randomly here, but I'm going to select point three. So that's going to open up my point options menu here. So there are multiple things I can do in this menu that I'm not going to describe in this video. I'm just going to show you how to edit the point. So I'm going to select the fourth option there, um, the one with the clipboard and pencil. And when I click that, that's going to bring up my edit point menu. So when I do that, it's going to give me a couple of options for things I can do. Since this is a measured point, I can't change any of my coordinates. I got to leave those as is. But what I can do is change the description or give the point a description. So in this case, I'm going to choose a description for my point here. And if I hit list there next to description, that's going to bring up my auto map library. I already have a large number of points that I can choose from here. If you want to know how to create one of these points, I'll include a video, just link it in the top right corner here to how to create new group codes. But in this case, I'm just going to select one from the list here. Let's just select curb for the point of this video. And if I select edit there at the bottom, I can change different things about this auto map parameter. So in this case here, you can see that I've got a point symbol. So let's just go ahead and select something different like this diamond with a cross. My point size, I can change that. Let's say I want to change it to two instead of five. I can change the color of the point. Um, and then I'm just going to hit OK and save this. And then once I've done that, I'm going to hit the green check mark in the bottom left corner there. And that's going to bring me back to the edit point screen. And I'm just going to hit store point to save that change. So once I've done that, there's still one other way that I can edit points. So to do this, I'm going to close my point options menu and then Right now I have the user defined button set as the point database. You can change this. Um, I'm, I'll just link again in the top right corner there a video on how to do that. But in this case, if I click my user defined button, it's going to bring up my point database and I'm going to select the last point there that I created, the one that I have manually entered before I started this video. And you can see with a manually entered point, I can edit the coordinates and the description. Unlike before when it was a measured point where I can only change um, the description of the point. So in this case, I'm going to leave the coordinates as is, and I'm going to go again hit list and choose a description from my auto map list. So let's see here, I'll just choose anchor uh, for the point of this video, hit green check mark, store the point, and then if I go back to my map screen by hitting the red X there in the bottom right, you can see I've got now along with the curb in my map screen, I also have the anchor point set as number five. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any of the equipment you've seen on the channel or on our website, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204. Or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.